I'm Marta Riematz, founder and CEO of Riematz Automobile. Over the past eight years, the goal has shifted. It started with a dream to make my own car. And now we consider ourselves as a technology company, pushing the limits of electric vehicles and building the next generation of electric sports cars. kind of funny how it started, so one of the first employees that came to Rimac Automobili was Zvonimir. He was doing electric bicycles in his spare time and uh, that was the reason why I asked him to join us. And I tried one of his bikes and really liked it, but I saw that it could improve a lot. It was kind of crude, but made a lot of fun. So I thought by combining what he did with the technology that we developed for the Concept One um, and for all the other stuff that we were doing, that we could make a really interesting product. So we did it as an internal project in Remac, and when we tried it, we were really happy, and you know, it, it made so much fun to riding these bikes, so we said there must be other people that like this kind of stuff as well. So we formed a little team inside of the company to work on the bikes, and when people would come to look at the cars, they asked, what are these bikes, guys? And when they tried it, they started to order them. So we started to ship them around the world, and then I decided to make a separate company, split up the team. So now Grape has 25 people that are uh, completely separate, their own development and design team, their own production. Um, and they are shipping bikes all over the world. So we have these bikes in 30 countries on five continents. Uh, normal people buy them, but also armies, uh, municipalities, um, uh, police stations all over the world. And there are these bikes, so this is the first model or an iteration of the first model, which is the G12S, um, which is really crazy, very high performance, crazy fast. So it can go, if it's unlimited, it can go up to 100 kilometers per hour without pedaling and over 100 uh, kilometers of range on a single charge without pedaling. We are also working on future models that will be produced in much higher volume. And there we are all about connectivity and gamification and digitalization of the whole e-bike experience. And what we really believe is that in electric bicycles there is so much potential in the market and there is no techno technological lead. Because electric bicycles um, are made in a way that traditional bicycle manufacturers buy powertrain components and the battery and everything from suppliers like Bosch. So the bicycle manufacturers themselves, they don't really do the technology. Uh, so all the bikes on the market are pretty much the same. They use the same powertrain components, just the frame is a little bit different and the layout of the bike, the suspension parts. We want to differentiate ourselves with the technology and we want to take the physical object, which is the bike, into a digital connected uh, device on the cloud so just an example of the things that we want to do is, for example, the bike has cameras and lots of sensors. So for example, I can be here in Croatia and uh, a customer or a friend can be in San Francisco and we can see what each other is doing on uh, the screen because we have the cameras and we can compete against each other uh, depending on the heart rate or the amount of energy that each of us is contributing to the drive. So we know the ratio between the uh, human power added to the drive and the electric power. So, or how much uh, each of us is driving, is making a wheelie, how long the wheelie takes, or how much we are jumping, these kind of things. So, uh, competing individually, friend against friend, or uh, on a global scale, all the owners uh, compete on a weekly basis, or on a daily basis, or on a monthly basis, who will achieve better targets. So, uh, it's all about taking the experience from, from uh, the old school bike and not just electrifying it, but really taking it into the cloud. Mm -hmm.